technicians have the technical insights to help assure that networks are dependable. Managers should be thankful that they are as dependable and as reliable as they are. Let me now, in closing, make reference to something called net neutrality. This is a debate or a, an, an issue of um, difference of opinion. As things stand now, when frames move across the Internet, each one of them is treated equally by the routers. There is no preferential treatment or prioritization of frames based upon their importance. If a router is busy, frames have to wait in order to be serviced and sent along their way. You know, by, by our sense of time, they don't wait very long, but from a from a router's perspective, they a, a queue forms of of frames waiting to be serviced, and as it is now, it's first in, first out. Net neutrality is the idea that all frames are equal and should be serviced equally. There should be no prioritization. Um, and so forth. Other people, some people advocate that not all frames are equally important. We only have, basically speaking, one internet and the things being sent across it, the frames are being treated equally. But I think we know and realize that some communications moving across the Internet are more important than others. And I believe a case can be made that there should be a way that communications that are highly critical, that are time sensitive, should have the, those frames should have higher priority and should go to the front of the line when being serviced by a router. For example, in e-medicine, it's possible for surgeons to participate in real surgery in real time on patients anywhere in the world. That's more important than a. Um, than many of the other packets moving across the internet. And so I believe that a case can be made against net neutrality, saying that some frames should be given priority service above others. So in conclusion, modern organizations, including government agencies and nonprofits, depend upon computer networks and the internet. It is not possible for every device to be directly connected to every other device. So there has to be this complex system of protocols and frames and routers that allow information to move across the Internet as individual frames to be reassembled at the destination. The Internet depends upon routers that are owned by companies and we often take all of this for granted. The first time I sent an Internet message to, I think it was London, I went to my supervisor, this was years ago, and far, you know, in a place far away, and said, I just sent a message to London on the Internet. And she said, how much did it cost and who's going to pay for it? Well, there is a cost. Um, but that's something we'll get into later, I suppose. These companies provide the routers, but don't necessarily get paid for the services, 
for the information they carry via their routers. So we take all of this for granted, not realizing the complexity of it and not realizing the infrastructure that is necessary to support these services. I hope that this has helped you understand how data moves across networks in the Internet. Thank you.